Hey everyone, Admiral Seabass here. Welcome back to the War College. Today's lesson is on airborne assault and we will be in section 13.8.2 of the rules. So what's happened here in this game is that the United States has declared war on Cuba. And so um, what that means is that the U.S. needs to start making some combat moves into Cuba and airborne uh, infantry and airborne assault is going to be a major part of that. So if you look at the rules on airborne assault, airborne infantry units can engage in airborne assaults from air bases. Airborne infantry transported during the combat movement phase never participate in combat while in transport. So how do you do the airborne assault? Well, you move airborne infantry units from the air bases that they're at to the zones they are attacking. Major air bases send up to three airborne infantry in airborne assault. Minor air bases may send one. Advanced Airborne Doctrine technology completion will increase airborne assault capability of air bases. Assaulting airborne infantry may, may move up to three zones from their air base. They cannot move over a land or sea zone that would bar an air unit from moving through the zone. These units are subject to defending AA and air superiority in the zone they're attacking, just as any other air unit, though they must be taken last as casualties. One thing I would add is that the air base that the airborne infantry starts at has to be undamaged in order to engage in airborne assault. So you see here, we have a U.S. airborne infantry up here in northeast United States. It's at a minor air base. The U.S. does not have advanced airborne doctrine technology complete, so this minor air base can send one airborne infantry in an airborne assault up to three zones away. So he will simply go one to southern United States, 2 to A-33, nothing blocking him here. If the Soviets miraculously had a heavy aircraft cruiser or uh, an amphibious assault ship in A-33 that had a fighter on it, then that would be blocked, but it's not. So again, he goes 1 southern United States, 2 A-33, and then 3 here into Cuba. This airborne infantry in Gulf states, who's at a minor airbase, will go 1 to A-33 and 2 into Cuba. And now... You see, in southern United States, these two airborne infantry are here, but there's a major airbase, so it can send up to three airborne infantry in an airborne assault, but there's only two there, so it will go A-33 and then into Cuba, and you can see the U.S. has started their invasion of Cuba uh, by sending those four airborne infantry in. These two Marines will join by amphibious assault. We'll do a different lesson on amphibious assault. Uh, but we'll probably save that for um, the Soviet uh, turn six. So yeah, that is how you do airborne assault. A really fun part of the game. And uh, again, you can send one airborne infantry from a minor airbase up to three zones. You can send up to three airborne infantry from a major airbase up to three zones. Uh, the airbases have to be undamaged. All right, take care everyone.